Hello everyone and welcome to HTML Switzerland. My name is Benjamin and today we are going to make a black pepper rosemary cosmopolitan. The Cosmopolitan is surely a well-known and modern American classic, which has a great great history behind it and appeared firstly in 1975 in the United States. According to several sources, this drink is another living proof of guests' excellent taste. Given that it has been created as a variation of the original kamikaze cocktail ordered by a guest in Minneapolis. But as we all know, fame does not come easily. And so the cocktail only became widely known as it was appearing in the famous and blockbuster television series Sex and the City. Besides talking about a great classic, it also has several versions and variations. But today we are going to take a look at one of the most trendiest version with rosemary and black pepper. see for this cocktail now we are using a really interesting presentation with this cocktail glass first of all we need to fill this bowl shaped glass with crushed ice it is really important that we are filling it properly with crushed ice why because crushed ice will coat the inside of the cocktail glass properly like nothing else and then we are placing the top carefully this will give us a chance that the ice is not going to dilute that fast since the ice cubes are cooling themselves. Uh, and also from the other point, it will continuously cool the whole glass and the structure down. Well, as of starters, we are going to place a stick of rosemary to our shaker and lightly muddle it. This is basically part of our twist in the cocktail itself. Don't be afraid to muddle it because it will extract all the aromas from the rosemary. Continuing, we are adding as big chunks of ice as it is possible to our shaker. So then it will provide a nice and proper cooling for us. Then we are adding one centiliter of freshly squeezed lime juice. This will bring a really nice and lively savoriness to the drink continued by three centiliters of cranberry juice this will bring fruitness to our drink and of course we need to add two centiliters preferably two but two and a half depends on the taste of the guest of uh, contour or triple sec as it is called uh, this will bring really nice citrus uh, aromas to the drink and increase the flavor complexity as well last but not least we are adding three and a half centiliters from our base spirit which is uh, pure grain vodka in our case and as a finishing touch and this is one of the really one of the most important elements of this uh, trendy twist in the cocktail I would say we are adding two and a half centiliters of black pepper infused maple syrup. This will provide us a really nice uh, spicy sweetness uh, as a flavor option to the drink and also increase the color complexity. It is also really important to note that this cocktail needs to be shaked for fairly a bit longer time. Why? Because the texture of the maple syrup it does not dissolve that easily uh, with other ingredients therefore we need to give a proper shape and this should do our job I really would recommend you to use double strainer in this case we are avoiding all the unwanted parts from rosemary or smaller ice cubes to get dropped to our cocktail glass. Mm. 
where the drink itself, especially with this presentation, is decorative enough in my opinion, but we still can play around with additional taste and flavor notes plus adding some aromas. Therefore, we would just like to take a smaller stick of rosemary and lightly ignite it in order to get a small amount of smoke out of it. And this smoke will immediately help us by touching the edge of the glass to stick this aroma and smell notes to the cocktail. As a result we got a really really trendy drink in an absolutely amazing presentation with beautiful clear I would say pinkish uh, color note and a nice and thin layer of foam on the top of it. So please enjoy the pink goodness and see you soon in New York City.